Hello everyone, Sheffy back at you again. And today we're going to be bringing you uh, my first introduction to Dark Souls 1. Um, I'm playing this because I just got my Hop Hog, uh, which is my uh, video capture device for my Xbox and stuff, so yeah. Uh, a little intro to Dark Souls. Um, you know, it's supposedly one of the harder games of uh, Xbox 360, PS3 genre. Um, it's hard enough where I haven't beat it yet, but then again, I'm not too good at playing games. Like, I'm decent, but I'm not awesome. Uh, and what you do is you play as a hollow that can turn into a human, and you're trying to, you know, complete this quest that they have you on. So let's go ahead and start it. So there's our dungeon cell key. And if you've never played Dark Souls, like I said, I never beat it. I've got pretty decently far. I don't know exactly how far I am. Some of my friends beat it, but uh, I don't know exactly how far I am. But, uh, you know, it is a difficult game. Definitely difficult. Uh, so, yeah. And always expect the unexpected with the Dark Souls. Uh, never go in here blindly like I do 90% of the time. Hey, guy, what you doing over there? You take a little bath? Yeah. Yeah, you're having fun in there. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and ruin that. Um, so a couple things before I get too terribly far. If you look down at the right side corner, uh, the little 60 that's down there, um, that is pretty much the currency in this game. Uh, you buy your materials, you buy your equipment, you buy your levels. And those are souls. Uh, anything that you kill in here will give you souls. So, yeah. It pretty much is telling you to kill as many things as possible. Uh, because you'll get souls for it. And other things. So what I just did was light this bonfire. Uh, and what that is, it's kind of, it's not a saving point. But it's a uh, point where, you know, you can get healed up and stuff. And other things that I'll get into later. So... Can't go in there because it's locked. So I'm going to go up here. I've played this part a million times, so it doesn't really bother me. So, Oh, what a foreboding room you got here, guys. Oh no, a diet demon dragon guy. If you are playing this game after you're watching this, uh, just follow what I do, kind of. Uh, I do get lost sometimes, I'm sure. But here's another fireplace, so I'm going to go ahead and light this up. And what happens is if you die, you come back to the fireplace that you lit and sat at uh, last. Uh, these little things on the ground, they sometimes give you good information, but 9 times out of 10, it's other players giving you uh, uh, bullcrap information. So yeah. Just keep that in mind while you're playing. Don't get fooled by other people saying like, there's an invisible door here. Yeah, and there's nothing, you know. Alright. I think these were put in by the game developers. I'm not sure. These ones in this area. So this guy's running away from me. It's time to take him out. Come back here, mister. Alright. And here, I guess I just wanted to introduce the gray mist or fog, whatever you want to call it. Uh, sometimes there's bosses, sometimes it's going into the next little area. And that's what this one is. I have a Sorry, my daughter's standing right here beside me. And this way... I don't think I can do anything this way right now. Nope, can't do anything. Whoa! And by the way, if you've never played Dark Souls, and like maybe you're playing the remake of it and stuff and you haven't picked up the original, uh, there's no real jumping method in here. It's kind of like playing uh, Legend of Zelda. This game is a lot like Legend of Zelda, actually, where they kind of just throw you in here. They don't really give you any direction to go at the beginning. They give you a short backstory, but... Let you listen to this guy. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. I'm done for learning. I lose my 
Alexander mm -hmm. Dixon. I wish to ask something on your mind. You and I were both on the second. You and I were both on the second. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. Yes. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. No. There's an old saying in my clan, Torch lit. Thou who art unsaved, chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, make a pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, ancient lords, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. An Estus flask. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I will keep the home you after death. So go. And thank you. So go. And thank you. Alright, so, he gave us what are essentially our, uh, healing potions, um, so yeah, that's pretty cool, and he also gave us a key, also, on top of that, I also have some, let me go over to my items, I'll show you guys what I have, I have, there's gifts that you get at the beginning of the game, and once you play the game, you'll see what I'm talking about, I don't know exactly what all of them do, but I know the master key opens any basic lock. Uh, and then I have a dungeon cell which he dropped at the very beginning of the game. Of course I skipped past all the intro stuff. And then they had the Undead Asylum F2 uh, East Key which is coming up. So yeah, those aren't really that important. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys the gifts that you can get. Or one of the gifts that you can get. So... So, again, if you've never played this game, they don't really give you any directions, and they don't really tell you how, like, I'm sure on the floor I'm not really reading them, they might tell you how to, uh, how to target, but I never really paid attention to those on the floor, uh, so I never really knew how to target very well. Uh, so if you're playing this and you don't know how to target, it is the right stick and you press down on it, uh, or you click it, whatever you want to call it, and it just targets for you. Um, but yeah, I've played through, like, close to midway through my farthest part in the game. I don't know exactly how far I am, but a decent ways into the game, not targeting anything. So I was dying quite a bit. Come at me, you fiend. I guess I needed to target. Also, you'll see up there on the left side screen, you have the red bar, which is obviously the uh, the health, and then you have the stamina bar, which is, if you're a magic user, that's kind of like your, uh, your mana, if you're a... So, I'm terrible, sorry for interrupting myself, but I'm terrible at doing uh, jump attacks, but I'm going to go ahead and try it, and there we go, it does massive damage to the people that you're attacking. So, real fast, let me finish what I was saying. So that's pretty much your mana if you're a magic user and if you're trying to sprint and stuff, that's also your uh, your stamina and stuff. So if you run out of that, you're kind of screwed. Uh, kind of like me right now. All right. So, I don't know, I guess he would be considered a boss. So he's your first boss that you'd have to face. Uh, Astalon Demon? Or Asylum Demon, sorry. So, trying to fight and read at the same time. And what you want to try to do is get him while he's doing a down string, a swing and do one of your minor attacks. Like I just did a greater attack, but sometimes you can work one of those in. And if you need to, you don't have to target on him all the time, uh, just to kind of gain some distance between you and him. Um, it's best not to. Uh, dang it, I tried to attack him too many times. There we go. So, if you do this a couple times, I've had to record this like three or four times, 
Um, but if you do this a couple times, you'll get pretty good at killing him. Uh, that's actually the first time that I haven't got severely damaged by him. Uh, I don't think he comes back. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Uh, if he comes back, I'll fight him again. But I don't know if he does or not. I don't think he does. But whenever you heal at the fires, all the minor enemies do come back. So just be aware of that and aware of your surroundings whenever you do heal. Uh, there's a door up there, but I don't know exactly where it goes. So I might try to get up there one more time before I leave here. Um, I don't know where you'd find the key for that. But I will try it anyways. You know what? Never open this door. Well, oh well. Whatever's up there I probably don't need, but I probably do. So it's okay. I'm just gonna keep on moseying. Yeah, like sometimes people do congrat congratulate you or they congratulate themselves. They're like, yeah, we did it. And then sometimes they're just D-bags and they're like, yeah, brah, you've probably died like five million times. It's alright, brah. Uh, also, if you're online, what happens a lot is you will get invaded, um, especially if you're human. And what that is, is where other players come in and have PvP with you. And sometimes they'll wreck you, and sometimes they won't. Sometimes you'll get the best of them. Nine times out of ten, they get the best out of me. I suck at this. That's alright. Maybe someday I'll get good at it. Um, Dark Souls 2, they provide a lot of stuff that makes it easier, like... Uh, I think on Dark Souls 1 they can use the Esta Flask to heal up while they're battling you. Um, but in Dark Souls 2, I think they eliminated, eliminated that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, the main reason why I'm playing this is because I don't know if they're doing a rebooted version of this and Dark Souls 2 in the same package like they've been doing for the Halo series and you know all that good stuff. Uh, but I know they are doing a Dark Souls 2 reboot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Talk to this guy real fast. He's going to tell me about some bell tower stuff. Uh, if you want to listen to all the people talking and stuff, uh, I do recommend like looking up dialogues or something. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them because a lot of them are kind of pointless. Um, some of them are helpful, some of them have deep backstories, and some of them don't. So I'm going to go through this real fast and tell you guys a little bit about the leveling system. So as you can tell, there's my name at the very top on the left, not the very top, but like uh, right under levelings, select a uh, permanent to perimeter to boost, and then my name is Sheffy right there. And I'm level 3, I have 2,340 souls, and then I require uh, 707 souls to level up uh, one time. So vitality is your health, attunement is for spells, which I'm not going to do right now. Uh, endurance is how much you can endure like uh, whenever they try to hit you uh, and your stamina goes down, that gives you... Um, a boost to that strength uh, is how much you can like hit for it and how much like you need a certain amount of strength to hold certain weapons and stuff dexterity is for speed resistance uh, actually endurance is for boost stamina and resistance is uh, for resisting uh, physical damage I think uh, intellect or intelligence is also for spells, faith is for your uh, religious spells. So I'm gonna go with dexterity, strength, because I'm gonna be trying to get a weapon later. And uh, I might do resistance this time. I think I have to have 13 or 14 to get what I want. So there we go. And then also, I'm trying to get all this stuff out of the way, so uh, bear with me. Kindling, I'm not sure what that is, I've never done that, but Reverse Hollow is where you can become human again. Uh, I'm not going to waste my Hollow on that, or my uh, humanity on that, because I know that I'm probably going to end up dying very shortly. 
So I'm just going to sit here and hold on to my humanity just in case I do need help later on. I can get one of my friends to help me out with something or something like that. So here we go. What we're doing is we're going to be going up there and, yeah, trying to ring a bell that will do something. I'm not sure exactly. Yay, knocked him off the edge. So, I would try to get that over there, but that's just for a ring that uh, brings you back to life with all of your items and stuff. And I don't want to risk dying and, you know, just for a ring that would bring back my stuff. So I'm not even... Oh, crap. So I'm going to back on up and heal real fast. Because there's a guy down up there bombing me. So I'm going to go ahead up there. It's very good to have decent speed on here because a lot. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna go back down there. A lot of the enemies can hit pretty fast and hit pretty hard, and then once you get farther on in the game, they start moving a little bit slower, but they start hitting a lot harder. So if you can maneuver around them and also have decent amount of strength and good weapons and stuff, you can uh, do pretty good damage to them and uh, take them out before they can take you out. And that's the key to this whole thing. You gotta. Take them out before they take you out. Come on, guy. So, there we go. Like, you either need to be super fast. Uh, what that item was, was uh, extra souls. So I can crush it and get extra souls, but I'm afraid I might die. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to keep it just in case for later on. Because you can collect quite a few of these and level up pretty much for free just for scavenging bodies oh crap almost fell off the edge Whew. almost almost died but anyways what I was saying was either you need to be a really good tank that can that has a lot of health and uh, all that good stuff like good health good armor and uh, has a lot of health I think I already said that sorry concentrating not to fall off this freaking cliff right here health armor and can hit hard is what you need to be a good tank on here um, compared to being very dexterous again you do need some health oh crap he's gonna poison me yep he poisoned me crap on you no he didn't he almost did so these rats are pretty good at giving out humanity so if you are playing this and you're wanting to play with friends you need humanity to play with friends so and there's other benefits, I'm sure, to being human, but I'm always hollow because I always die. So I never really risk uh, becoming human. Um, but anyways, rats are pretty good about giving out humanity, but the undeads are not. So, yeah, to play this very well, you either have to be a magic user where you don't have to get close to anybody but you need to be able to cast fast be speedy um, and be able to hit people before they can hit you and kinda of stall them out so they can't continue hitting you or you need to be uh... Oh, I didn't even know that was there or you need to be a tank and those are the best ways to play this again I'm not like a professional at playing Dark Souls or anything this is only for PvE. I don't know how it is with PvP because I always pretty much 90% of the time die because uh, especially on Dark Souls 1 my main character was a or is a uh, like a tank character uh, just with lower health. <laughs> so these guys over here are trying to be sneaky and sna uh, freaking hang on to the freaking edge over there. So I'm going to follow their little plan. Come on, guy. Again, uh, I'm not the greatest about locking on to people. Um, so, once you get used to it, it is an extremely helpful thing to do. Climbing up the ladder, climbing up the ladder. And if you can, as quickly as possible, 
Uh, learn how to jump. Uh, all you have to do is press and hold B while moving forward and then tap B and you will jump forward. Uh, that will help you and rolling will help you. Um, which is pressing B while walking as well. But if you're running and you press B, that's whenever you do the jump. I'm terrible at jumping, that's why I'm saying that. Uh, so yeah, I don't want you to get like midway through the game and still suck at jumping like I do and get yourself in really bad binds like I do. Well... Hmm, how do I get out of here now? Maybe this way? Yes. Yes, it's this way. No, it's not. This is the way I just came from. Let's try taking this ladder. Hmm, there we go. There we are. Again, like I said, don't just run randomly run into, uh, what in the world? Jumping on backwards and stuff. Don't randomly jump into dark, I mean, the gray fog because it might be a boss and you'll get into a boss fight with like one Esta flask and you know, really, you might be like really beat up and stuff. So, back to the statement that I made earlier about how this game is kind of like Zelda. It's not like exactly like Zelda, you're not saving a princess and all that good stuff, but in the fact that you have to, uh, you have to like gather your supplies and pretty much explore the whole entire area that you're at before you should go off and try to fight the boss that you're at that's kinda how it is like uh... whoa mister dragon I was in the middle of talking guy uh... that's how it is like uh... Dark, I mean like uh... Legend of Zelda so if you never played Legend of Zelda like I have like I just started playing recently um, definitely pick up some of the games, like they're doing quite a few of the remakes, and they are phenomenal. And if you like Dark Souls, I mean, it's a lot like, uh, Legend of Zelda, so, in my opinion. Some people might be like, hey, Sheffy, shut your stupid mouth, it's not like Legend of Zelda at all, guy. But... You know, what I've played of Legend of Zelda, it's kind of like it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and switch this shield out. I had trouble saying that. Sure, shield. And sh very shortly, I'm going to be getting a another sword. I'm going to go ahead and level up a couple times. So I can actually wield the sword that I want. Uh, professionally. Proficiently. So you saw that little ghost right there. Uh, that was like another player sitting here in a different world. In their little world. So, level up. I'm gonna do dexterity. Oh, I can only level up one time. So I'm gonna go with strength right now and just level the crap out of that. Confirm, there we go. Uh, I do have those souls still, but I'm gonna save those for whenever I'm ready to really level. And I'm gonna go ahead and go get this weapon real fast. I might not be able to wield it, but at least I'll have it in my inventory. Guy, you better quit it now. I told you. And this is a decent sword, uh, regardless of what kind of build you're going for, just because it does decent damage at the beginning of the game. So, these guys are annoying just because they have longer range weapons than most uh, beginner players do, and you can't get around their freaking shield. So you have to wait for them to attack, which I just missed my opportuni opportunity. I'm having trouble talking tonight. There we go. And once you get them in that first hit, uh, if you move fast enough, you can pretty much get them. Oh, yep, yeah, he's getting me. Oh, God, no. It's all right. 
it's all right now I can show you guys what happens whenever you die and how you get your stuff back because like I said you do lose everything that you just worked so hard for um so yeah I'm gonna show you how you get your stuff back real fast if I don't die that's the trick you can't die before uh, you get your stuff back because then your stuff will disappear and what I mean by your stuff is like all your souls and you know I think that's pretty much it I don't know what else you might lose but I know you lose your souls on Dark Souls 2 you start losing health if you uh, if you die Slowly. And the only way to get it back is by becoming human again, and it's hard as crap to become human in either of these games. Hmm. Come on, guys. You gotta love AI, don't you? So, what you do is you just come over here, press A, and you got all your souls back just have to go to that little green spot Crap. yes he missed alright there we go now we're back in the groove so this is where sometimes uh, you know not being locked on is helpful can we want shame on me there we go so that was backstab. You can do that on. Uh, I know you can do it on pretty much all minor enemies, like smaller enemies, uh, humanoids. But I don't know about like boss guys and stuff. So, all right. So this guy has the uh, the sword that I want. Let him talk real fast. <coughs> Excuse me. see what he's got. I'm going to get this key. I think that's all I really had enough money for. Oh, crap. Alright, I might have to use one of my shields. Oh, not one of my shields, but one of my soul things. I'm trying not to use these, but oh well. See how much that bow was. I wasn't really paying attention to how much it was. Damn it. Uh, 450. Plus some. Oh no, that's how much I had. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and use up all my souls real fast. Whoa, it's my butt. So I don't know exactly what that key does right now, but. I'm sure later on it will open something and I'll need it. And I didn't want to get my sword yet without doing that. <laughs> See, and you get extra large souls and you get a lot of souls from those. And you don't want to crush them and then have a whole gauntlet to go through and, you know, mess it up. Alright, let's see. I can actually get this bow now. Alright, and some arrows. Just gonna get some standard arrows, because I don't know if I need them right now. Let me get as many as possible. And now I'm gonna get the sword. So to get this sword, uh, you kill this guy and he'll drop that katana that he has. And like I said, it's pretty decent, but you have to have... Whoa, he poisoned me. Jeez, at least almost poisoned me. That was... that hurt. There we go. So, I know I don't have enough strength for it yet. I'm just going to check it out. Yeah. I can switch weapons back real fast. Because the only way I can wield that is by, uh, you know, only using uh, that weapon. No shield or nothing. So, kind of makes it a pain in the butt. Whoa, forgot about that guy. This part, I mean, this little section right here, I pretty much have kind of memorized, uh, just because I've played it so many times. Um, I made characters where I just want to play with other people, and then I made characters 
where I wanted to play by myself and made like three or four different characters so all this beginning area is kind of memorized for me for the most part. It's been a while since I've played it but so don't be surprised if I don't have a like scream reaction right here but later on definitely we'll be like screaming like a little baby girl like pretty much in the next section after I get done with this whole little castle area again like I said uh, jumping does come in handy so oh god and I suck at it okay phew. I'm surprised I made that hey buddy you better quit that and there it is dang it I forgot it I forgot it again this is the second time that I bought the bow and forgot that they sell a crossbow up here I right, not sell it but give a crossbow away up here oh mister settle your horses sorry it's allergy season here so I'm gonna be sniffling a little bit and always 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 no matter if you're like you know being super quick person or being a uh, a tank or whatever try to keep a, a shield on you it doesn't even have to be that good of a shield but have a shield and a little bit of resistance because you know sometimes you just gotta let them hit first uh, and it will keep you out of trouble So right now I'm just gathering a couple of souls and I might level, probably won't level up, but I'll try to level up one more time before I end this video. Um, and then the next video will be a little bit more action packed compared to this one. Um, this one was just kind of like an introduction to Dark Souls. The next one is, oh, I guess I could have killed these guys. The next one is where we actually get into some uh, real fights and having to plan out stuff. Oh god, oh god, you better not kill me, you freaking D-bag. Yep, he got me. Damn it. Freaking weak guy like that got me. I mean, get used to this if you're playing Dark Souls. Uh, you will die. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You will get murked every once in a while. So. It happens. That's all I can say. It happens. So. Just run back, get my freaking souls. That's all I really care about. So I'm going to be having a video coming up shortly. Uh, probably within the next day or two, depending on how I feel. I've been working quite a bit lately, so um, it depends on how tired I am and stuff. But... Uh, it's going to be talking about how I got into gaming, like, uh, just not even like professional gaming or anything like that, because I don't do that, but, <clears throat> like, gaming in general. Um, so, yeah. And I do want to know how you guys started, but I'm going to ask that question in that video. Darn you. Hey, bro. One guy at a time. Wait, that kind of sounded gay, but. There we go. Almost got killed. <laughs> Alright, there's my crap right over there. So I'm just gonna jump right down here. Kill these people. Hopefully, I won't get killed myself again. Uh, especially before I get my stuff. Come on. I keep on doing like this backspin attack. Oh god, there's someone behind me! Okay. Oh, lost Ooh. all my souls. Oh well. I'm not even gonna worry about coming back here. I'm sure you guys don't wanna see that. But. I'm gonna probably, uh, before I go into the next area, um, 
level up a couple times uh, just so I can wield the sword before I go into the next area uh, and then I'll get back into the next video just fully prepared and all that good stuff so again I'm gonna show you guys how the souls work there we go and that gave me 400 souls um, so yeah until next time guys as always stay beautiful stay sexy and stay chefy I love you and have a great night.